welcome Gemini. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need help with right now. Um, using the Dragon Oracle cards, Nature's Whispers, and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, Gem, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Thanks for your patience while I had to align Amara Energy. And thank you for your support of this channel. This is definitely not my gig. This is Spirit's gig. And I am simply a channel for them. So, and that's what this channel <laughs> is all about. So, yeah. Okay, so one card for Gemini, please. There it is. Green Dragon. Okay, Gem, let's have a look. We're just going to get it ready in the book because... I don't want to forget Green Dragon. It's not Green Gold, it's just Green. Oh, no. There it is. Number 64. Alrighty. Let's get that ready to roll and we'll look at that at the end so this says here look at this gorgeous card green it always reminds me of like the healing color okay so helps you tune in to the secrets of nature receive answers and guidance from nature align with your divine essence that's beautiful i see a key here as well wow look at this key that is beautiful and it's sort of like that key to unlocking unlocking the answers maybe that you seek or at least unlocking I don't know something within yourself maybe I don't know but let's have a look let's have a little look see here okay so three cards for gemini for green dragon please three cards for gemini oh i almost had it balancing like the talent that i do anyway two more cards for gemini one more card thank you okay so First card here, what's this? Wow. Wow. Okay, Gemini. Okay. First card here is open your heart. We have let love be your beacon. And we have heighten your vitality. Open your heart. This feels like some healing is needed here. Um, a little bit like kind of going into hermit mode for protection in a sense. Um, but this is that I feel like, yeah, because also with this here, when I said this is the healing energy, right? It really is getting out into that into nature to receive the healing that you need because nature is very healing and um yeah the other thing i want to say here gemini is not everything can be seen not everything can be seen some of you may have had um maybe going through a breakup of some sort because i'm seeing the absence of a male here for some of you it could be the absence of a female and not everything can be seen right now not everything is known doesn't have to be that it could be just that you need to take some time out to replenish your heart chakra to um, allow it to um, sorry to allow it to actually um, have some work done on it, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like that chakra for some of you is blocked, maybe from past hurts. Um, this may not have been a recent thing. This may have been from a long time ago, you know, and it really is going back to that original source 
so that you can fully heal um, what it is that you need to heal so that you can spread your wings and fly like you deserve to to open your heart to what it is that you um, deserve to receive, right? Yeah. Oh, um, a book just dropped on the floor. Anyway, that's okay. That's okay. I'll pick it up later. Alrighty. So let me put these here. What have we got here? Gemini, 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 yeah, this is not helping, right, this is not helping, this comparison in your mind, going over things a billion times, could it be this, could it be that, what if this, what if that, this is not helping, this is polluting your energy, this is not creating a solid foundation for you to build on. Not for you and someone else, but for you and you alone, right? To In order to get this foundation solid, there needs to be this comparison out the window, okay? Go into the space, go into the, into the, the energy of the nature, right? Go into nature, because that's where the energy, energy is re going to replenish you and this is what you need for your heart this is for your heart i think the thing is gemini is that we've all been hurt at some point in our lives whether it's in a relationship a friendship um, anything you know we have been hurt and this hurt needs to be healed fully and completely right rise above look at the possibilities look at your options See that the sun will rise again. The sun does come up. Even though there might be dark nights for you, the sun does come up each and every day. Even if it's cloudy, the sun, sun still shines behind the clouds. Always remember that. In Gemini, it shines for you. It shines for you. Okay, be aware of this. Be aware of what is inside here, of this person who is hiding in the shadows the person that you tuck away so that no one else sees it, out of protection for yourself. You know, this is you inside your shadow self screaming to come out. Let me out, let me out. Tired of being... Tired of being shut out. Yeah. What else have we got here? Mm, this is cool. This is cool. This is about you, Gemini, um, participating, participating in your life, having fun, being playful, transparent, experiencing, getting into nature, becoming one with nature. This is really important for you right now. Even if it's in winter, it is so important, right? Bringing in the all, all the elements to help you because, you know, the center of your being, the heart space, and your intuition even, right? Um, use all the elements to help you with that because that is ultimately going to allow you to let your love be your beacon, okay? Um, because when the thing is that when your heart is closed, you can't let your light shine in order to lead the way. So this is why this important on the heart space, this is why the work, sorry, is important to be doing on the heart space so that your heart can shine to lead the way because this is your beacon and this is where nature will help you with that. A hundred percent. One hundred percent. Okay, so tell me more about let, your lo let love be your beacon. I'm trying to get the words out. order here <laughs> they're flipping over but they're not coming out just want to make sure I get them out okay okay they're coming out alrighty so oh we've got heaps of cards here well anyway okay Gemini what have we got here 
sorry I'll let the sorrow out complete it let it be complete this is the last there's there's one more final step in your journey here okay and this is releasing the sorrow here so that that is complete okay that is going to help you to open your heart completely okay um because there is something new waiting for you here this is a whole well this is a lemon heck this is a huge huge amazing beginning absolutely amazing look at this look at this we've got the ace and the ten here right this is this could be um you know in in something that also it, put it this way this new beginning will bring all the abundance that you wish for in whatever form that be okay um, I, I absolutely love this. I love this. This chapter of your life needs to be closed off in order for you to proceed forward. Gemini, do it for you. Do it for you because you're worth this. Okay. You are worth it. There's a new vision, a new vision that you have for your life. And um, that new vision um is is oh, what I say? <sighs> this new vision is worth growing it is something that is comes out of this healing it is maybe not even recognized yet um but it may be desired and um it it releases you from this it releases you from this prison, this cage that you've put around your heart. Out of protection, maybe. Because you believe that this is keeping you safe, but it's actually keeping you caged. And it's not allowing the new vision to come through. How can it? How can love be your beacon when your heart is caged? How? It's impossible. Hmm. Heighten your vitality. Here's the thing, right? This is like having the world in your hands, right? Having the world in your hands and, and the energy. This is the energy from nature. This is the whole world is full of nature. The earth is nature itself, right? And so, I don't know, there's some sort of realisation here. It's like this realisation of understanding that all the elements represent us, represent our emotions, that we are like, we, there's the whole universe there, and our whole self is like a mini universe. It's a, it's a mini form of the entire whole, right? And it's kind of like she's holding this going, oh my gosh, am I only just seeing this now? How can that be? Feeling like the world is a huge, massive place and then understanding that you are so much more, so much more. And when you allow your love to be your beacon, that ray of light, man, absolutely radiates in a way that you could only ever dream of. Yeah, wow. Open your heart. This is interesting, number 10 here, which is this completion, right? Hmm. Oh, yeah, sorry, getting carried away here. Okay, so going into a zone. <laughs> okay, so tell me more about heightening your vitality for Gemini. Oh, those two there. Heighten your vitality. Okay, I like that. That came out last. Okay, 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 okay. So what's these two cards here? Wow. 
transformation and receptivity here. Right? You've got these two cards here. Being receptive to this transformation taking place. Because sometimes things fall apart for better things to come together. I know that's so cliche. Sorry. <laughs> I don't like cliche things. I really don't. But it just came out. Um, but it does. But this here too says to me, you have all the tools that you need. You don't need anything else to have this transformation actually take place here, Gemini. Okay. Um, It's being receptive, being receptive to this change because this is important for your growth, okay? And without it, the growth would not happen. You have suppression here. This is suppressing what is meant for you. This is fighting what is meant for you. By fighting this change to take place, this actually... Is stopping you in an incredibly huge way from this coming in, right? Remember this. Look at this. I freaking love this. Like, this energy here is incredible. It's stopping this from coming in, right? Look at look at this. Look, look. Right? Don't you want that? Not that? Yeah? You know, this here, holding on to this, is preventing this, okay? So letting it be released allows the cage to be opened, allows your hands to stop being tied and stuck, all right? Wow, 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 wow. We have these two cards here, go with the flow and consciousness, right? These are all, these are aces. We've got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and we've got the Ace of Pentacles here. Gemini, this is huge. Absolutely huge. This is a brand new you. A brand new you. Right? You are absolutely deserving of this. We also have the Fool, which is a new beginning again. This is taking the leap of faith. Just doing it. Just hold on tight and do it, Gemini. Because if you don't, you'll remain in this. And what you want to bring in is this, right? Where's the other one? This. Right, look at this. This is so beautiful. Go with the flow, Gemini. Okay, be conscious. Be conscious of what it is that you're blocking. Be conscious of what it is that you need to let go of. Be conscious of you. Be conscious of the truth of you, which is an absolute beautiful existence. Okay, I'm just going to pick up the book. Green Dragon, it's on page 64, which is 10. So this is definitely a wrapping up that needs to happen for a new beginning to take place. Because 10, you know, is a 1, right? And so, Gemini, this is, this is really a massive part of your life. Okay, so let's have a look. Green Dragon here. Gem helps you to tune in to the secrets of nature. Receive answers and guidance from nature. Align with your divine essence. Okay, about this card. All answers lie within nature and every single thing we need while on earth to is provided for us in the natural world. Yeah, all those elements, right? Um, fifth dimensional green dragons touch our psychic centers and help us to tune in to the sacred geometry, geometry in the trunks of the trees the petals of flowers, the shells of snails, and everywhere in the Master Pan's kingdom. These are the keys and codes that bring us in tune with our divine essence. When we are fully aligned with our fifth dimensional blueprint, we are automatically whole and healed. Oh, 
like, oh man, that's nice. Okay, so the guidance of the card is, the nature kingdom is a magical place in which all our answers were held for us. Luminous green dragons help us to read these answers. So if you can sit quietly in nature, call a dra green dragon and ask for guidance. The response may come to you consciously or unconsciously, so accept that something important has been activated within you, whether you are aware of it or not. You may feel the need to walk somewhere particular. If so, follow this impulse, for your green dragon will be guiding you. <sighs> wow. Um, keep your eyes and ears open for the answer may come through a tree, bird, insect, animal, or something else entirely. Your green dragon will glide with you, directing you to the answer you need. This calls for deep trust and an understanding that the divine plan is perfect. Drawing this card also suggests that you would benefit by spending more time in the green world. Your green dragon will be with you, so acknowledge it and let it touch you with its wisdom and great knowledge. Expect revelations or healing. Awesome. Okay, I love that. I love that. That's beautiful. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.